The Bible is the mark of the beast. Listen to me today. This is very, very, very important. The Lord is showing us about our ministry. And you need to know this, especially you Holy Ghost children. You see, my motive has always been to try to help people go home, to get in the Spirit, in the Holy Ghost. And I still do that. And this is what we want to help them. But listen, the Holy Ghost has changed our ministry now. This is going to be very, very important. Showed it to me by the Holy Spirit, dreams, visions, and different things. We're to reveal the people's sins. See, this is a sin. When you say the Bible is the Word of God, that's a sin. When they live in the Bible, instead of in the Holy Ghost, that's a sin. Now listen to me very clearly so you'll know what you're doing. See, we've got to close the book. We've got to get them to close the book and come to Jesus. All right, now listen very closely. We are in the 10th chapter of the book of Revelations. Where he told John, said, if they eat this book, they'll be bitter. Now, I'm going to tell you about that in just a minute. If they eat this book, they're going to be bitter. And we are in that. He said, you must prophesy. Well, why are we prophesying? We're revealing their sins. That they took a book into the Holy Ghost. They believed in King James and Constantine instead of Jesus. All right? Now, remember this. Our only model that we have to go by. See, we don't have a role model. I'm going to give you the role model now so you'll know it. It's in chapter 11. These are the ones that comes right after us. It's going to be two witnesses God has prepared. I don't know. It's going to be some great men because he gives them power. They have power to shut up heaven. This is the two witnesses that's coming. We're witnesses, but we're witnesses. Don't eat this book or you'll be bitter. Now, these witnesses are going to be preaching. Probably are in Jerusalem. They're going to be preaching a powerful message. And remember this. Jesus is not preaching the gospel anymore because uh, the churches get all the people. There ain't no Holy Ghost church. He's just getting us few people that's ordained to eternal life to be witnesses to this. Now, these two witnesses come going to be preaching against their sins. And it's probably where they're going to build that uh, temple in Jerusalem. And why would they be wanting, why would Hagen and Swaggart and all them be sending money to Israel for them to sacrifice sheep? Well, we, are, we got a sacrifice in Jesus Christ. So you see, they're against them. God is against the world now. He's sending prophets that is against their sin. You see, they've built Mystery Babylon already. The heart it's been uh, built. So what we're doing, it will torment them, just like these two witnesses. That's our role model, the two witnesses that's coming. They'll plague the earth. They shut up heavens that it don't rain. They turn water into blood. And they'll, they'll bring plagues up on the earth. Why does people hate them? It tells in the 10th uh, verse in chapter 11, that they tormented the people on earth. You know why it torments them? We torment them. Now, I've been on here almost five years telling this. Now, why when they come on our channels, they're so upset? How many names have they called me? All kind of demons and Satan and snakes and some names I can't even take. They want me dead. Why do they want me dead? Why do they want them two witnesses dead that comes in chapter 11? Because they tormented them. This torments Bible worshipers because they now know that they're not going to go to heaven. See, when they stand there and they say, Lord, in your name, we've done many mighty works. We've done some wonderful works. We've cast out devil. How did they do that? They knew about Jesus from reading this. See, they didn't know Jesus by the Holy Ghost. In, in Spanish, you see, you got two words for know. you got conocer, means to know, like you say, when you shake hands with a person and you're being introduced to them, you say, mucho gusto de conocerlo. All right, much pleasure in knowing you. But now, saber means like you know something like, Saber, you know about Jesus from a book. That's saber, that's to know. Sabe usted? You, do you know? See, but conocer is different. Now, in English, they don't have to just know. You only know Jesus by the Holy Ghost. You don't know Jesus by this. And he don't want them coming over there by the millions saying that I, I know you, I did Now, we're cutting them off. We're showing them their sins. This is our ministry now. This is the main reason God called all us Holy Ghost people. Close the book. Come to Jesus, and a lot of you people have got so many good revelations about you can't serve God with a book. Many of you make good comments on it, the Holy Ghost people. Now, this is our witness, and this is why Satan hates you, because you're showing the people their sins. Now, this is what's happening in this last day, you see, and we're going to be showing them their sin. That's why they get so upset. They want me dead. They put me in coffins. They kill me. They don't, because it's like we're like the two witnesses that come. We're in the same spirit they are. It, we, we're like John. He said, John, you must prophesy this to tongues, nations, people, and king. And that's what we're doing. 
and all over the world we're getting saying, you're crazy. The Bible's the word of God. No, it's not. It's an idol. It's the mark of the beast. We'll help people overcome the mark of the beast by telling the truth. So we're telling the truth. It's starting a new day now. Seals are being opened like dreams is coming forth. Bunkin had a dream and it opened a, a, a can. It's quicksilver. Quicksilver. We're silver. We're like the silver. The other two witnesses come going to be like gold. They have the lamp, lamp there, the, the golden uh, lamp stands. They, they're the church. We're quicksilver. This is very valuable. And it's starting to run out. It's hot. It's hot on the earth today. And these Bible worshipers can't sleep now. They're having dreams. And all the plagues now that comes up on the earth, when we get on here, we tell them, aha, tornado tore down your church because you are a Bible worshiper. Now you're bitter. You took a book instead of Jesus. You know something about Jesus, but you don't know Jesus. So this is our message now. It's tormenting Bible worshipers. When they come on my channel, they can't come on no more. Because I say, when did the New Testament begin? Can't even answer. Can't answer when I tell them, stir up the gift of God in you, Timothy. Neglect not the, Tim the gift of God in you, Timothy. Kept by the Holy Ghost that dwells in us. Tim they never come back again. But they can't sleep. They know this is true. They know we're hounding them. They know they're tormenting now. And when they killed these two prophets, they were so happy that they sent gifts one to another. Now, they was telling them the truth in two prophets. We're telling them the truth. When they kill one of us and you, you see one come in and Satan attacks them and they kill one of us, people laugh, boy, they have such a good time. But they're not going to get all of us. We're going to tell them their sins. This is their sin. It's now being revealed. See, they love to believe the lie. Now they're down and they're living in an illusion, you see, and they know it. They don't want to go see God. Why, why don't Billy Graham go on and see God? I wrote a letter. He said, I can't. Because I preach this so much, you see. He's told millions of people that they could be saved just by believing in the Bible. And he lied to them. And now he don't want to go over and see them. He don't want to go over. He's nearly a hundred years old and still living. And they don't want to go home. Bible worshipers now is in trouble. They're in torment. We're tormenting them. And they're in sins. And that's what torments them. They know they took a book instead of the Holy Ghost. And they're in captivity by Satan. And now they're tormented. But we're here to reveal their sins. That's our job, children. So get on your, your horse because the Holy Ghost is going to move you and you're going to reveal the people's sins. Well, I heard about a man who saw a light And one who left his little light shine Your heart full of joy And upon your lips will be 